Butterfly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime, bro. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'ma tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy out of the game. Sometimes that's Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the Butterfly. We you still rapping like that? Bring it in, bring it in, bring it in, take a seat because we got to speak. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang. What's poppin' with the population? Smell like money, let's make some. RightsGangClothing.com for the merchandise, you heard me right. So you got URL, Super Fight, uh, Super Fight, Super Fight coming up tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? You got four battles on the card. You got uh, Geechee Gotti versus DNA. You got Drugs versus Danny Myers. Easy to Block Captain versus T-Top. And then you got Rum Nitty versus Don Marino, I'll just start there. Rum Nitty versus Don Marino. Don Marino, <clears throat> baby, bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. Uh, you got a battle with a really, really good puncher. Um, I'm going to say this, that even though a lot of people are doubting you, I'm going to give you some props and say that, you know, I will not say that you didn't earn this battle because in a lot of aspects in the Rookies versus Vet season, you see rookies versus people that they probably would not have got if it was not for that. DNA versus Lou Castro probably wouldn't have happened this soon. Real Sick versus Chilla Jones probably wouldn't have happened this soon. Even an easy to block captain versus Dan well, Danny battle anybody, so he really don't count. But what I'm saying is, um, you to me, you've done enough, you've earned it, make the best of the opportunity. You have to just show out in front of who's in front of you. If you show out and show us that you're meant for this level, this stage, you will be fine. The only thing that you cannot do or cannot afford to do is die, like get smoked, have me in front of the camera while and getting 30 body bag. That will be very, dis that will not help your cause. But start fast, get some punches out, show them that you can punch at this rate because nobody could out punch Nitty. So, I mean, if you're witty, you know, you got, you got some, you know, some jokes with you or able to use some angles, not the same dry angles, but if you're able to like, you know, show people that you could dance at this level, I think it'll be good for you. Um, Rumini hasn't battled in two months, so that does not bode well for you because I'm sure he's sitting on punchlines on top of punchlines and his uh, Coquito Rum Don Julio lines is going to be crazy. His Mexican flips are pro <laughs> Oh my goodness. I got Rum Nitty winning 2 1. Just saying. Just saying. Um, and then you're on another card. Are you on another card? I seen a tweet that said you, drugs, and Danny Myers are all on a card on Gates of the Garden like the next day or something like that. If that's the case, I'm not picking any of y'all to win because ain't none of the three of y'all good enough to battle two days in a row. I'm sorry. I, I, nope, 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 nope. It's not, it's not happening. I'm sorry. It's, no, 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 no. What was the card? I, hold me down while I keep on going, man. So, Don Marino, I love what you do. Um, you know, you're, you're, you're a rising rookie. You got some talent. And I think that with time, you know, you can, you can help people understand why you do what you do. Um, I'm actually just buying a couple seconds as I'm scrolling my timeline because I definitely saw this. Oh, so... Danny Myers versus Don Marino is supposed to happen on Gates of the Garden on January 10th, which is the day after you, you guys battle. So you, Don Marino's going to battle Rum Nitty. Let me get this right. right. Don Marino's going to battle Rum Nitty. Then he's going to turn around and battle Danny Myers the same day on another card after Danny Myers battles against drugs the day before. Are you, are you fucking kidding me? Y'all are bugging. Y'all are bugging. You're not beating um, Rum Nitty. And Danny Myers is not beating drugs. Uh, it says drugs got banned in Montana. He could beat him. I don't. So I, if anything, Danny, 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 Danny. You want your respect, right? You've been working so hard to get it. And uh, this is. I, I just. I don't understand. Um, I know you said something about you and the um, battle with drugs was booked for a while. Um, Let's just see how it goes, you know what I'm saying? I, I got you winning 2-1. I really don't have much to say about it. We'll see. We'll see where it goes. Um, it's just the every fucking card thing. Like, why are you guys battling on every effing card, my Gs? Like, y'all niggas, we gotta get paid. Y'all get paid in caffeine credit or some shit like that? Like, what are you niggas getting paid in? Um, and the funny thing is somebody wrote on the, on the status. They said, y'all are not good to battle on back-to-back -back days. And it's like, yo, y'all not bad. Y'all not good enough to battle on back-to-back -back days. I'm sorry. Where did y'all think that this was an acceptable practice? I'm sorry. 
Uh uh, not happening. Somebody's gonna get smoked. That's what's gonna happen. Um, next I got T Top versus Easy the Black Captain. T Top versus Easy the Black Captain. Now this is a very interesting battle because Easy the Black Captain is dope. Um, one of the rising rookies. Uh, him real sick and Kid Chaos is is, is up there. Lou Castro does his thing too. Um, it's a lot of it's a lot of dope talent that's coming up with these rookies. Uh, Easy the Black Captain can set himself apart with a win versus T Top. T Top has had time, you know, some more time to uh, you know get his shit together. And I've been going back and forth with this one. I had Easy the Black Captain win, then I lean to T Top. Lean. I'm just. I'm so. Like I don't know where I'm gonna go with this one. I got it. It's, it's just gonna be a fire debatable battle. But uh, you know, I dug in my bag. I thought I watched some more easy content, man. I'm going with easy to block captain two one. I know I've been back and forth, but it is what it is. It's just a battle that I'm very excited to see. Uh, easy to block captains in L. A. He's excited to be there, and we're gonna see how this goes, man. Like like, this is your this is your opportunity, your chance to shine and show the world. What you got, man? This is a defining moment. You could either be heading on the bigger cards, or you could be on your way to store legacy or super fight, super light card part two. Who knows? But you better show up, man. I, I got a lot of hope and I got and I got a lot of faith in you too. Uh, you represent for Philly. Uh, your style is dope, and I, I, and T Top, you know, if T Top shows up and spazzes on you, it could get bad because T Top is able to put niggas in bags, but. I just, uh, it's just easy to block captain's time. DNA versus Geechee Gaddy. Ah, very interesting battle. Um, Ryder, salute to Ryder, I was talking to him on his live stream earlier, reminded me that DNA beat Geechee Gaddy for that 25 bands on BET. Oh yeah, so I think Geechee Gaddy's gonna be, on, gonna be on some shit tomorrow. Uh, he, in his last couple of battles, I'm not gonna lie, Geechee Gaddy has some moments in some of them battles where he wasn't the cleanest. Some freestyles mixed here and there, you know, but he's been winning. He ain't really got smoked by nobody, but he's had some freestyles, you know, he's had some, 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 he, but he could freestyle well, though, you know what I'm saying? And uh, his goods performance was pretty clean. Uh, the Charlie Clips, you know, he was, he was getting a little emotional while Charlie Clips was rapping and shit, you know what I'm saying? Charlie Clips is rapping, he's saying shit like, yo, that's not even that nice, you dumb, like, rap bitch and things like that. Um, but DNA... What I will say about him is I know he wants to win a battle versus Geechee Gotti because DNA has been trying to get his respect for quite some time. And, you know, that respect level that he wants would come with a 30 versus Geechee Gotti. A 30 or body bag or like how Kid Chaos just whoops Saga's ass versus Geechee Gotti would bring a lot of respect. The only thing is, Geechee Gotti don't be getting body bagged like that. You know what I'm saying? He don't even got a lot of clear losses. Clearest losses was versus a -Ward. And yeah, I don't see that happening. So in this one, um, I'm going with Geechee Gotti 2-1. Uh, losing 25 bands to, to DNA should have some kind of effect on him. I would, I would think that after losing that kind of money to somebody, you would want to um, show off and show out in front of uh, the battle world, especially if it's going to be on a live stream. But what we will do is we will uh, go back. We will watch everything that's going on. Me and Showtime SP will recap the battles to the best. You know, we we gonna do what we do. You know, I, I, I know y'all watch a lot of these recaps, and we definitely appreciate it. And we're humbled by the fact that you guys continue to uh, give us your viewership, give us your time, and you know things like that. But uh, let, let's get to the dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? Like I really want to see who's gonna be winning in these battles tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? It's a short card, and that's good. I I don't like those cards. Like the one thing I will say about caffeine, caffeine came in the game on white people time. And I like white people time. They gonna start on time, the battles is gonna happen, and they gonna end on time. I remember there were events that even though they had four or five battles, these shits would take all day long. I got better shit to do with my time than to sit up and wait for battles all day long. So, with that said, I love it. I know we are gonna be done in like an hour or two, and we are gonna keep this thing moving. Um, Salute to all the subscribers out there who watch this content. I know what's going on in the world. I have seen what's going on in Washington, D.C. And I will say this, um, <clears throat> although this is not like a huge political channel, like we don't really delve into things outside the battle rap world, I will say is that it's a clear depiction of there being two Americas. And it's, it's always been that way. And, you know, I read something earlier that said, 
we don't want, as far as being a black man and black people in America, like we don't want, I don't want the police to just shoot them, but I want them to give us the same opportunity and not shoot us like they didn't shoot them. You know what I'm saying? Like these guys walked into the US Capitol, literally walked in there and just started putting their feet up on tables, running through files, while and out, and that's just not a good look. And I remember when people tried to say the most unpatriotic thing that could happen was with what Kaepernick did by kneeling for social injustice. Well, uh, that didn't age too well. You had people that were literally rioting. People get protesting and rioting mixed up. Protesting is what was happening because Unarmed black people were being shot and killed by the police. That that led to protests. Yeah, those protests did then cause riots. People looted, things like that. We're not celebrating that, but it made noise. It got people's attention. The folks yesterday, well, the day before yesterday, were rioters. They were domestic terrorists. They were literally inside of the Capitol building. And four people wind up getting killed, and a police officer died too. All for something that could have been avoided. This did not have to happen like this. And they were only doing this because they didn't get their way. That's all it was. It's because they didn't get their way. Literally throwing a temper tantrum because they did not get their way. It's funny how, and I don't really like want to go too far into the election and things like that. It's funny how they want to say that the election was rigged when it comes to the president, but the Senate and everyone else who was on the same card that one was right. How can it be right for one side, but it's wrong for the next side? Shit makes no sense. Other than that, man, y'all stay safe out there. That's what the main concern is, and I'm gone.